Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Samsung just announced their new tablet lineup, the Galaxy Tab S10 series, and they sent over their flagship, the S10 Ultra. The Tab S10 series comes in different sizes, plus some different specs as well. They even sent over their book cover keyboard slim case. We'll show this off in just a second. They're all up for pre-order now, so I'll be sure to link to the best trade-in deals and just deals in general down in the description below. The S10 Ultra has a huge 12.4 inch AMOLED display. I'm excited to check it out. Plus the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 plus chipset as well. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box and then of course get some hands on with this flagship tablet from Samsung, the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Let's get started. Here it is, the brand new Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Opening the tablet for the first time right away is the Tab S10 Ultra. We're gonna set that to, ooh, it's really thin. We're gonna set that to the side for just a second. Yes, it comes with an S Pen. Not a lot of tablets come with the pen. We're gonna set it to the side for a second. We've got standard booklets and a micro SD card tool, plus a USB Type-C to Type-C cable for charging. A quick look at our included S Pen with a flat side which will go on top of our tablet and a rounded side with a quick shortcut button as well. The size very similar to just a regular pen. And on to what you came to see, that 14.6 inch tablet sliding it out. There's a first look at that silver back flipping it over. Side note, this tablet has an IP68 water resistance and dust resistance rating. Oh, also, just because I can't resist, there's the spot for our pen. Magnetically attaches either way. Anyways, I'm gonna turn our Tab S10 Ultra on for the first time and just talk about anything noteworthy. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. Along the right side of our tablet is one of our speakers, our USB Type-C port, Another speaker, and then moving along towards the top is that micro SD card slot. Nice, we have expandable storage. You've got a couple microphones, our volume rockers and power button as well. Make note of that camera bump, that dual camera system, fairly minimal. We've got another speaker, another microphone, another speaker. And down towards the bottom is our connection points for our accessories that we'll talk about in just a second. A quick look at the back, some Samsung branding. Again, the slot for our S Pen. It's a different color so you know exactly where it is and a closer look at that dual camera. This is a 13 megapixel wide angle lens and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. We're all booted up and ready to go. I'm going to run through the startup process just talk about anything noteworthy. You do have the option for face recognition or fingerprints. Samsung actually has an in-display fingerprint scanner for their tablet which you don't see almost anywhere. Most of them are just hardware fingerprint scanner. So let's set this up, just lifting and setting our finger on down. I will say the haptic feedback I got when typing and putting in my pattern was uh, a little harsh, but nothing too crazy. Also, you can adjust the intensity, so I'm actually not too worried about it. One more time, there we go. Fingerprint added, you can add more. I'd highly recommend adding another one, probably your pointer finger. You do have Galaxy AI built into this tablet. There's a lot you can do with translations, notices, transcribing, even with drawing as well. We'll show this off in just a second. Okay, we are all set up and ready to go with the brand new Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra from Samsung. Let's actually grab our book cover, keyboard slim, and get everything all connected. I'd like to point out this also works with the S9 Ultra and S9 Ultra 5G. Opening up, let's see what we get. Quick start guide, plus our book cover, which does have a slot for our S Pen. Yes, Samsung thought of that, of course. Opening it up for the first time, there it is. It does, it can angle to set your tablet up at an angle, but also it does have those connectors plus a full keyboard down towards the bottom will protect your screen as a cover. Let's get it installed. Quick test of that in-display fingerprint scanner without the screen being on, and I figured out the spot. You'll have to learn that over time. But as you can tell, seems to be very quick and accurate. Of note, the S Pen is attached, and magnets will make it very easy for me to connect this to our case and bringing it all the way up. There it is. It's just so easy to 
set as sort of a laptop mode with our keyboard. If you are on the go and want to use it as a case, very simple, just close it on up. It covers the screen, will protect it, and of course will protect the back. We'll do a quick keyboard test in just a second, but a close look at that 14.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display, a 120 hertz refresh rate, 2960 by 1848 resolution. I can already tell it's enabled out of the box, but just to be sure, let's go into display settings and motion smoothness. Yes, it's set to adaptive. So it will change up to that 120 hertz refresh rate. You can bump it down to 60 hertz if you'd like to save battery life. In case you're wondering, this is a dual camera system, 12 megapixel wide angle and 12 megapixel ultra wide angle for the front facing. Grabbing our S Pen for the first time, it's already connected. It lets you know how you can turn sketches into art with sketch to image. You also get the option to smart select, create a note, screen write. Why not? Let's dive into it, the sketch to image. All right, so it prompts you to draw something and spoiler alert, I'm actually an artist by trade. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a terrible artist, but I still wanna draw something. As, as you all know, I love to golf. So here is our tee box with the tee markers there. How about our fairway starts here? It goes out, cuts over. This is a fairway bunker. And then here is our actual green with a flag. Is it gonna know what this is? Maybe, let's hit generate. <laughs> okay, I love this. I love that I thought it was a water balloon. Again, that was a crew drawing of a golf course. Let's try something different. All right, just to be a little more specific, let's draw like a house on a hill. How about that? Oh, also notice the touch sensitivity, a little darker where I press in. So we go with some windows and how about a front door with a handle, maybe another window and another window and a mountain in the back. How about like a mountain range? Ooh, nice little audio feedback. I, I don't know what it's gonna think that is. That is not a mountain range. Again, like I said, I have no artistic drawing skills. Okay, that's under the watercolor setting. So there's just a house with something next to it. Again, this is all dependent on your drawing skills. However, there are different settings. You don't have to use watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art, or 3D cartoon. So let's try pop art and generate that. And there you go. Again, it just looks like something. Ah, that's kind of cool, actually. That's uh, a little unique in terms of coloring, something I wouldn't be able to do alone. I'm gonna try this one more time with the 3D cartoon setting. No idea how this is gonna turn out. Oh my gosh, look at that. It figured out that it was an actual <laughs> golf course. It almost looks like a mini golf course, honestly. Okay, there we go. That's probably the best one, but this is a lot of fun. I actually do really like this feature. That feature also can translate over to your camera app. Yes, you should probably just take pictures with your phone, but if you need to take pictures with the tablet, that Galaxy AI icon's up in the upper right-hand corner where you can reimagine, where you can move images, you can even draw an image and transform pictures. So similar, sketch to image is up there, what we just tried, but you can also remove things. So if I tap on this, oh, it recognized the outline of everything. And I think if I hit generate, actually I think I have to press and hold on it where it will give you the option to undo or maybe just simply erase it. You can also resize it, move it around in the specific picture. Let's see how it does with just simply erasing the charging cable, I have to hit generate. And there we go, it tried, it wasn't necessarily the best. It still thinks something is there, but again, it's still an option. It probably will work better on your phone overall. Side note, you see that little seven next to the Wi-Fi icon? That's because this does have Wi-Fi seven capabilities. As usual, let's do a quick typing test. Pretty satisfying to type on overall and some very useful shortcuts up towards the top, including a DEX shortcut. Love to see that, plus our keys down towards the bottom and look at that, a Galaxy AI shortcut. Let's see what happens when you press it. Press it for the first time, select an app to open it with Bixby or Gemini. 
I'm gonna use Gemini always, so it's nice that Google's Gemini is built into this tablet. Honestly, Gemini Live has been one of my favorite things to make use of, so be sure to check it out. What specs should I look for when I buy a tablet? It depends on what you want to use the tablet for. Here's a quick breakdown. Honestly, she sounds like me. Thing for basic. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> what? What do you mean you're sorry to hear that? The Notes app also got a big upgrade where you can use that sketched image, but there's a few other features like translating text, correct spelling, summarize, and auto format. Let's summarize some text. Okay, so I used some voice to text. It struggled with my name there, but let's summarize. And there we go. Someone encourages viewers to subscribe. I mentioned voice to text software and acknowledges a mispronunciation of his name. So it works well. As usual, Samsung kills it with their multitasking. They're one of, if not the actual best at multitasking overall. You can see you can pop out applications, resize them, move them around as if you were on a desktop. You even have Google's circle to search, so press and hold on the home screen. Oh, yes, I know, I haven't done it yet, but there we go. Circle any sort of image of something you want to search, and there we go, it pulls up exactly what we're looking for. Also super easy to reattach that S Pen with that magnet. I don't really even have to look at this point, the magnet's strong enough. Anyways, that is it from me for now on the brand new Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot more to come, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.